stop turning the opposite direction. No, this is very easy. The dog has decided to enter into the bedroom and hang out while I make a video. Now you can go. That was an awful lot of effort just to say hello. Okay, please don't start barking now, please. Please, sniff your ass, that's good. You could die today. The world is full of possibility. Bad kids destroy YouTube. Pokemon toys opening, Elsa Gate. Got me one of these here Tapu Bulu Pokemon boxes with some surprise pack cards inside. Dog, don't shake the tripod and get your dirty paws off my damn clothes. Stop it. Okay, the dog is gone. We're gonna continue on. You might be watching this video because of SEO, search engine optimization, or you might be watching it because you know me. Either way, we're gonna be talking about YouTube and this weird thing that's been happening and is starting to be reported on in the mainstream where kids are being shown distressing content at a young age and it's happening seemingly deliberately and people are profiting off of it, both these strange people that are doing it and YouTube. So we're gonna be talking about that a little bit. Also, Tapu Bulu. Yay. I got, I like him because he's like the piercing Pokemon. Like he's got a nose ring. Anyway, search engine optimization is essentially using like hashtags, your title, keywords, to place your video in a higher ranking amongst other videos when being searched for. Ways of being relevant and ways of getting onto your screen through autoplay. Before I go anywhere, this is what happens when you open the box. You get a big, shiny Tapu Bulu, and pretty good. Now that is a cool, gosh dang card. I really love the nose piercing. It's the nose piercing that does it. I had my nose pierced before, but it wouldn't heal. Like there, I think, that side maybe. But I like that this Pokemon has a nose piercing. Tapu Bulu, nature's judgment. Tapu Wilderness, just badass all around. Love it, absolutely love it, 100%. Brilliant card. Okay, now, recently Medium.com released a video saying that something is wrong on the internet. It goes on to talk about YouTube and it's it's very strange, the whole thing. And it's like these cartoons, okay? So for example, Peppa Pig is a huge one, but there are these big aggregate, almost syndicate or a network or a lot of bots or something. But they're making these videos that are targeted at children and then putting in disturbing content like colorful injections. Uh, they're always injecting them like in, in the butt and other places. Um, showing kids being violent or acting violent towards their parents. All of the thumbnails for one particular channel. Seemingly a mother in strange positions pointing because there's an image there right now on the screen and then boom, boom, boom. 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 Okay, now, this is very strange because they're showing injections, which is like, is that normalizing that idea in your head? And now, violence as well, violence against the mother. Like, there was one particular clip where a child forces a banana into a mother's mouth on the floor, and the reaction is not one that would be conducive to, stop, I am the powerful adult and I am in control, stop what you're doing. Ugh. Oh, it's so creepy. Uh. We know they can make money because of advertising and we know that YouTube is also making money off them because of advertising. I feel like they want to give their, their machine learning time their algorithms time to learn and figure out what's going on but at the same time damage is being done. It's being referred to as Elsagate because of the prominence of people dressed up as popular characters that kids would be familiar with from like Marvel and Disney. So Spider-Man, Elsa, Anna, the Joker. What is the intent? It feels like someone figured out how can I sell total crap to kids and then other people with more nefarious intentions figured out this person has managed to gain Tons of views by just shoveling out awful, ripped off stuff that's based to kids. Because kids don't know the difference, especially babies and kids that are just getting a tablet for the first time. And it's like they figured that out, that was making money, went okay now how can we mess with them? So it's very strange, I don't like it, I do support um, kids not having this bullshit shoved in their face. And I hope that you can guard your own kids and if you do come across anything make sure to flag it. Like this video if you liked it, comment and let me know if it was in any way helpful. And topics, discussions. Why is this happening? Why are people doing this? Is it solely money? I mean, there's got to be another reason that they're showing kids these images, you know, and it's, it's not sitting right with me. Check out all the links in the description for more information on this and people who explain in much more depth what's going on. I just wanted to make a video to kind of talk about it a little bit and maybe get it out there, propagate that message one bit more uh, and help because I haven't seen it really in too many places. When I brought up my friends, most of them hadn't heard of it. I was, it was like breaking news. You know what I mean? It's not sitting right. It's not sitting right with me, okay? God Do a like, do a like, and consider a subscribe or to my channel in the future. Please.